so this was so yeah so this would have been my first experience as you are going to be the engineer that you are in the, the main seat from day one and i didn't really have an assistant it was just m me and him he's in the wheelchair obviously so he kind of would tend to park up for the day and at the in the studio and kind of so it wasn't like you had a drummer in guitarist in quick let's set the amps up now we got to take the kit down and now we got to set up it wasn't like that at all it's just me and him um and it was it was great actually it was i suppose in a way it's a gentle way to introduce you know to not have all that chaos going on around you and it being quite, it's quite kind of methodical you work with one thing at a time unique really that situation because it's him yeah yeah unique really yeah it's not normal not normal you'd normally have a band there and lots of people coming and going and different opinions um so it was it, it i mean in a sad way it's it was my my favorite thing i ever did was the first was the first thing i ever did I was downhill from from then on but yeah I, looking back it was one of the most enjoyable albums i ever recorded yeah so what was that album it was called sleep oh yeah yeah i think i've got some stuff on that <laughs> f e h l e e p and it was the his first album for a while um and it, uh actually paul came and played on it so the the thing with the weller was around the same time was a, was a few months earlier kind of they was the same year and so paul well is a fan of robert wyatt is he well he is he was he is now I, I don't know how much he'd heard of him before i think he definitely knew him he definitely knew who he was and knew who soft machine was um and he uh he came in to record stuff for robert yeah when, when we started doing the album and they had exchanged notes because they'd passed in the studio um, some of them, they hadn't overlapped, but Paul had been in and then he went away and then we started sleep and then went away and then Paul came back in again to do more of his album. So there was like a, they used to leave notes for each other. Yeah, I'll come in and do this, that and the other. And that was magical. Yeah, that was fantastic because Paul really got into it and ended up just coming and hanging out during the, during the recording of sleep and helping with the mixing. I think at first the intention was just to get Paul in to to play a bit of guitar and that would be it but they really got on and he, and he really enjoyed the album so he became a lot more involved with it and brian eno was playing on it so i got to meet eno uh, um and he and these are and he's very good mates with they go back a long way i think definitely to the 60s 70s they've known each other for a long time <laughs> What do you do? What do you do? 